Biography of Famous Islamic Scholar Dr. Israr Ahmad Israr Ahmad, April 1932, 14 April 2010, was a Pakistani Islamic theologian, philosopher, and Islamic scholar who was followed particularly in South Asia as well as by South Asian Muslims in the Middle East, Western Europe, and North America. He was the founder of Tanzimi Islami, an offshoot of the Jamaati Islami. He wrote about 60 books about Islam and Pakistan. As of 2017, 29 books have been translated into several other languages, including in English. Esrar Ahmad was born on the 26th of April 1932 in a Grawal family in his R, Punjab. His father was a civil servant in the British government, who relocated his family from Hisar to Montgomery, now Sahiwal. Punjab province of Pakistan. After graduating from a local high school, Ahmad moved to Lahore to attend the King Edward Medical University in 1950. He received his MBBS degree from King Edward Medical University in 1954 and began practicing medicine. In addition, he obtained his master's degree in Islamic studies from the University of Karachi in 1965. Ahmad worked briefly for Muslim Students Federation in the independence movement and, following the creation of Pakistan in 1947, for the Islami Jamiati Talba and then in 1950 joined Jamaati Islami led by Abul Ara Maududi, but left the party when the latter opted for participating in electoral politics in 1957. Ahmad resigned from the Jamaati Islami in April 1957 because of its involvement in national politics which he believed was irreconcilable with the revolutionary methodology adopted by the Jamaat in the pre-1947 period. His interest in Islam and philosophy grew further and he subsequently moved to Karachi, Sindh province in the 1960s. He criticized modern democracy and the prevalent electoral system and argued that the head of an Islamic state could reject the majority decisions of an elected assembly. Dr. Israr Ahmad was awarded the Sitara IMTS in 1981. He has authored over 60 books in Urdu on topics related to Islam and Pakistan, nine of which have been translated into English and other languages. He held the opinion that apparent contradistinction between the Imam Abu Hanifa and Imam Bukhari is because the former was a jurist and latter was a muhaddit. Esrar Ahmad referred a narration about Dajjal in which he said that Saf ibn Sayyid had the biological ability to watch and see from his back. After the demolition of the Babri Masjid in India, Dr. Esrar in one of his addresses criticized the vengeful demolition of Hindu temples in Pakistan, calling them un-Islamic and making the perpetrators the same as Hindu extremists in India. Ahmad died of cardiac arrest at his home in Lahore on the morning of 14 April 2010 at the age of 78. According to his son, his health deteriorated at around 1.30 a.m. with pain in the back. One major Pakistani English-language newspaper commented after his death, founder of several organizations like Anjuman Ikhod Amal Quran, Tanzim I Islami and Tariq I Khilafat, he had followers in Pakistan, India and Gulf countries, especially in Saudi Arabia. He spent almost four decades in trying to reawaken interest in Quran-based Islamic philosophy.